It's the Weather Extreme video, the holiday edition for Monday, the 4th of July. Pretty typical summertime weather today. Maybe a few spots catching a storm this afternoon. Let's go in there and check things out. There's the water vapor satellite view. Pretty classic look for Independence Day. The primary storm track up north, flat ridge here across the deep south. Got uh, active storms on top of the ridge over parts of Missouri and Kentucky and some of the adjacent states where they could see some more heavy rain today. Also some morning storms around Dallas-Fort Worth, but around here things are quiet. And boy, it's a warm summer morning. Look at Birmingham, 80 degrees. Those were taken at uh, 6 o'clock this morning. Tuscaloosa, 76. Anniston and Gadsden, 73. We'll be well up in the 90s again today. Up on the watch warning map, heat advisories west of the state from near Vicksburg all the way through much of Texas. And up north, flash flood watches for much of Kentucky and many of the adjacent states. In terms of severe weather possibilities, got the standard slight risk of severe weather over much of Kentucky over into parts of Virginia and North Carolina. And down this way, a marginal risk of severe storms in Alabama, basically along and north of Interstate 59. And the main threat, like most summer days where you have strong storms, wet microbursts, but any storm will produce a whole lot of lightning that can be very problematic. When you hear thunder, go inside. Pretty much the same deal tomorrow. Uh, we've got uh, the, the main risk of severe weather well to the north, an enhanced risk around Minneapolis, St. Paul, and Des Moines. And for us, a marginal risk over northeast Alabama. And on day three, Wednesday, Chance of severe storms across the high plains. This is the rain for the next five days, and we all know these maps are not that useful in summer because of the scattered nature of the storms. Rain distribution is never even. But generally speaking, potential for one inch for North Alabama, lighter amounts down to the south. This is valid through Saturday morning. And the tropics remain quiet. No hurricane worries this week, at least in the Atlantic Basin. The Pacific is getting active. All right, model fans, here we go. The GFS, this is the 06E run, valid today at 1 o'clock local time. You can see the ridge being beat down a little bit. The air should be, the air aloft, I should say, should be a little colder today, not the air at the surface. And accordingly, uh, there should be a few scattered storms around today. Where they form, nobody knows. This is the HER model valid today. Uh, 22Z, this is 5 o'clock, and this is suggesting the bulk of the storms will be over the southern part of the state. And again, these models struggle like humans. Nobody knows, and I do think we'll have a number of storms over the northern half, even though this shows nothing. But it's certainly not going to rain everywhere, but a very reasonable chance the storms will be over in time for the fireworks at 9 o'clock for most everybody. Pretty much the same thing tomorrow. In fact, I would suggest tomorrow might bring the Better coverage of showers and storms for the week. Still not going to rain everywhere. Uh, The air fairly unstable. Temperatures will peak around 90. And this is the high-res NAM, and it's got just, what, three storms over North Alabama. This is 4 o'clock tomorrow, but I think we're going to see more action than that. I'd say the chance of any one spot getting a storm tomorrow, about 1 in 3, and that might be your best odds of the week. And then Wednesday, the ridge begins to rebuild, and I think we'll probably see showers and storms thinning out. There'll be some out there, probably not as many. And then Thursday, we're in a typical summer weather, hot, muggy, widely scattered storms with mid-90s. Same thing Friday, and really for the weekend, not a whole lot of change. Classic summer weather, partly sunny, hot, humid, widely scattered afternoon storms, highs, mid-90s. Same thing Sunday. Here's a week from today, Monday the 11th. The good news, we don't see one of these big old nasty, intense upper highs on top of us. But still, there's ridging and enough moisture for a few scattered showers and storms, but nothing too widespread. Here's the end of the forecast period. This is uh, Wednesday of next week, the 13th, 594 heat ridge, a little north of us, and again, hot, muggy, the chance of scattered mostly afternoon and evening storms. Sounds like a broken record, but then again, that's kind of the way it works in July around here. Numbers off the GEFS probably about 3 degrees too high. Uh, It's got us reaching 100 a week from today. I think mid-90s are more like it every day with lows mostly in the 70s. And again, 
Here we are in July. That's what you expect this time of the year. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes in the blog. We're on the holiday schedule today, so just one video. The next video here tomorrow morning, but I will pour, uh, pour, post some forecast notes uh, later today. If you can, watch us this evening on the live stream or the television side, ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great 4th of July holiday, and God bless.